welcome back to math lab tutorial today i am going to continue the mathematical operations in math lab this video will cover matrix operations in which we gonna discuss about entering a vector entering a matrix matrix indexing colon operator colon operator in matrix creating sub matrix deleting row or column dimension concatenating matrices and elementary matrices a matrix is a two dimensional array consisting of m rows and n columns if the matrix contains only one row that is with dimension 1 by n it is called a row vector and it contains if it contains only one column with dimension m by 1 it is called column vector we will do an example for entering a vector in matlab First, we will create a row vector. For that, uh, we have to give some variable r that is equal to. We will give the values in square bracket. So, the row vector is created. Then, we will create a column vector c is equal to 1 semicolon, 2 semicolon, 3 semicolon, 4 semicolon and 5 we have to keep semicolon in between these values to create column values now we can convert a row vector to column vector using transpose operator which is a single code so we will uh, name it as call call is equal to r transpose we know that r is a row vector and the transpose of this row vector becomes a column vector so we are going to discuss about entering a matrix a matrix is an array of numbers to type a matrix into matlab you must begin with a square bracket separate elements in a row with spaces or commas use a semicolon to separate rows end the matrix with another square bracket we will write an example our matrix name is a then a is equal to opening square bracket then we will write the first row elements that is 1 2 and 3 then we will put a semicolon then we will write second row elements then semicolon then third row elements and a closing square bracket now we are getting a 3 by 3 matrix having these elements that is the rows are separated by giving semicolon now we can access any element or any value from this matrix by specifying the location suppose i want to access the element in second row and first column uh, then i can write a of 2 comma 1 that is 2 is the row number and 1 is the column number so we are getting the value 4 from the matrix Next one is matrix indexing. Uh, in matrix, each element have an index. So the element of row i and column j of the matrix A is can be denot denoted by A of i j. Correcting any entry in the matrix can be done by using indexing. Okay, let's substitute A of three comma two by 0 that is we are substituting the value in the position of third row and second column with a 0 we can see that the third row and second column position is become 0 colon operator we use colon operator in matrix for various purposes we will discuss about this often we must deal with matrices or vectors that are too large to enter one element at a time we will write an example x is equal to 0 colon 0 0.1 colon 5 that is the x is the values in between 0 and 5 and each 
value is incremented by 0 0.1 we can see that there are 51 elements and uh, it uh, starts from 0 and next value is 0 0.1 then 0 0.2 and it is incremented by 0 0.1 up to 5 colon operator in a matrix colon operator can also be used to pick out a certain row or column from a matrix so I am going to take the previous matrix that is A uh, suppose I want to access the first and second row elements and first and second column elements I will write A of 1 colon 2 comma 1 colon 2 that is uh, first and second row elements and uh, first and second column elements suppose I want to access the second row elements only so I will write a of 2 comma colon then enter uh, then we will get 4 5 6 that is the second row elements only so next one is creating a sub matrix we can create a sub matrix consisting of any rows and columns. I am creating a sub matrix B is equal to A of that is A is the matrix from which I am creating a sub matrix and I have to give the rows that is uh, second and third which is, which is should be in square bracket then comma opening square bracket one space two that is first and second column then close uh, square bracket and uh, braces oh, sorry <laughs> then okay we are getting the second and third rows elements from a and first and second column elements from a so b is a sub matrix of a deleting row or column we can delete any rows or columns from a matrix by using null vector which is nothing but an opening and closing square brackets and uh, now I am going to delete the third row from our matrix A so I am writing A of 3 comma colon this colon is used to specify the entire columns if it comes fr uh, first that is end their rows and now it is coming after the comma that is end their columns and which is equal to square bracket I am giving giving then I am getting the result a that is a 2 by 3 matrix that is that is the third row is deleted from the matrix now I am going to restore this third row by a is equal to opening square bracket then I will take the first row that is a of 1 comma in their colon colon in their columns and the next semicolon then a of 2 comma colon semicolon then I will give some values any values you can give then closing all the braces sorry the square brackets then enter sorry some mistake that is I am given that same uh, I have to give semicolon so I am getting 3 by 3 matrix dimension of a matrix To determine the dimensions of a matrix or a vector use command size I'm going to find the dimension of matrix A so I will give size of A which I am getting 3 3 that is 3 by 3 matrix if I want to store these values 3 and 3 to variables M and N I will give in square bracket M space N 
is equal to size of a so now m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 3 next one is concatenating matrices matrices can be made up of sub matrices mm, I am creating a matrix new and uh, this matrix will contain sub matrices so the first sub matrix matrix is A next uh, sub matrix is 10 multiplied by A then I will put semicolon then negative minus A I will give so the A values will become negative values then I will create sub matrix with uh, some values you can give any values so I am giving 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 1 0 1 then enter ok we are getting this matrix so as you can see this is the matrix A this is 10 into matrix A this is negative of mat matrix A then this is the matrix I created with some values so using all these sub matrix matrices I created so the last one is elementary matrices there are some functions that generates elementary matrices that is we can use some functions in MATLAB to create some special matrices so first one is i it's a function we have to give dimension in braces i of so i'm giving 3 comma 1 so it will create a 3 by 1 matrix with the diagonal elements will be 1 and other rest of the elements will be 0 so i will write another example i of 5 comma 5 so 5 by 5 matrix with the diagonal elements are 1 and rest is 0 next function is zeros zeros of 3 comma 3 creating a 3 by 3 matrix sorry as uh, it's zeros s okay 3 by 3 matrix with the uh, ls all elements are 0 same way uh, another function once once of 5 comma 7 so it's a 5 by 7 matrix with all elements are 1 so next one is diag diag of matrix name so I'm taking our previous matrix A so it's a diag diag of A so it's retrieving all diagonal elements from the matrix so I will do another example we have a matrix new so diag of new will retrieve all diagonal elements in the matrix new so next one is rand rand of you have to give dimension I am giving 4 by 4 it is creating a random matrix random values are creating Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel and press bell icon for the notifications.